Me and this is a 44 and Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and will blow your head clean off. You could ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you punks? What's up survivors? My name is Cap and welcome to another 7 Days to Die breakdown, teaching you guys about the ins and outs of the weapons of the game. And in this video, I'm going to cover the hand cannon, the 44 Magnum. Everything in the video is for Alpha 11.4, so if anything is changed further down the road, just know that they could have updated it with future patches. And if you enjoy the video, do throw a like on there, maybe leave me a comment so I know about it. Alright, let's get started. The 44 Magnum is a short to medium range double action revolver which can be found throughout the world. It's very rare and can be crafted if you find the right parts for it. Unlike every other firearm in the game, none of the gun parts can be crafted or forged and ultimately the only way you can get the gun is to find the gun itself or finding the parts through looting. It uses 44 Magnum bullets and being a 6 shot revolver it holds 6 total rounds before you have to reload again. It's designed after the Smith & Wesson Model 29, made famous by Clint Eastwood in the 1971 movie Dirty Harry. It does 120 entity damage to zombies, which means it'll kill almost every single thing in one shot, except for the big fat ones, it'll take two shots. It'll kill everything with one shot to the head though. Alright, I'll show you guys how to actually make this gun now. As I said earlier on, you cannot forge the pieces for this. You actually have to find all four pieces of them. You can't create a mold and make multiple of them. So unless you get lucky and find a full gun, you're going to have to find all four of these pieces to put it together. Gotta have the magnum grip, magnum cylinder, magnum parts, and the magnum frame. And before you can put it together, you have to find the enforcer magazine laying around here. It looks like this. You can see a dirty hairy looking guy on the front of it there, and it gives a quote from the movie there. Now when you use it, it'll say, it shows you how to craft 44 magnum rounds well you have to have that in there to be able to craft the gun itself if you try beforehand it's not going to let you so what you have to do is just put this into this order up here in the crafting tray and it will craft the 44 magnum for you the 44 Magnum uses 44 Magnum bullets. These are specific just to this gun here. Now you can craft these if you happen to find some bullet casings laying around. You can make them if you get unlucky enough to be able to not find any of the actual bullets themselves laying around. All you have to have is bullet casings, which you can find everywhere. Gunpowder, which is pretty common to find around there. If not, then you're going to have to do some mining, have to get some potassium nitrate and some coal and be able to make the powder and turn it into gunpowder. And bullet tips. And then once you have them, you just place them into the crafting tray like this in this specific order and this will give you magnum bullets now the bullet tips are used for pretty much every kind of gun that's there now while you can't make an actual mold for the magnum itself you can make a bullet tip mold if you have some uh, lumps of clay around here and put a bullet tip in this order here, this will give you the bullet tip mold. Then you can use scrap iron in the forge and make as many bullet tips as you need so that will help you get some additional ammo if you're a little bit low just like every other gun, you can repair it after it wears down specifically there. It takes a little while to wear it down, of course, but what you're going to need to fix it once it wears down to the point where it's not doing any damage or broken is a weapon repair kit. You can find these around in ammo supply crates that are fallen down. You can find them in some weapon supply stores. Sometimes you get lucky and find them in a gun safe. But if you can't, you can make your own. All you need is an oil can, cloth fragment, which if you can't seem to find these around there, you can get just from picking cotton. And metal strips and if you can't find these you can get these short iron pipes from falling, finding them or destroying a toilet or air conditioning system put it in here and it gives you metal strips put it into the crafting tray like this and then you have your weapon repair kit now each one of these will repair it up to 40 so it may take a little bit to completely fill it back up since it goes up to over 400 when it's completely full and that pretty much wraps it up. I hope you guys learned something from the video. If you have any questions or comments, do put them in the, you know, down there in the comment section, of course, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And hope you guys are able to find this. It's pretty hard to find all the pieces, but it's a wonderful gun when you get it, as you can see in the video. So you guys have a good one. Thank you for your support, and I will talk to you later.